Hey everyone, it's Joy here with another Lawn Fawn video. Today I created a fun Christmas card using the Build a Snowman and the Spooky Forest die. So here's that Spooky Forest die I have die cut from a white cardstock. I'm doing a little bit of ink blending with iced spruce. This color combination that I'm using are really kind of a muted green and blues, greens and blues, and then I will have like a pop of red. So I wanted a little bit of green, but I am not going to color or ink blend the whole thing green because I also want it to feel like there is snow. So I'm leaving a little bit of white on the tree. For my background piece, this is a piece of A2 size white cardstock. I am going to ink blend it with speckled egg distress oxide ink. Not all the way down because I'm not going to see the whole bottom, so I just want to get that on the back. Then I have a stitch till side border that I have die cut a little snow drift and did a little bit of ink blending just at the bottom with the speckled egg. Then on my work surface I have some white acrylic paint and a little bit of water and I'm splattering that background. I'm also going to splatter the tree die as well, the spooky forest die. I want it to have a little bit of falling snow or the effects of falling snow. Okay, so now we have our build a snowman. I have die cut everything off camera. You have this little black piece or this die piece that I've cut from black licorice cardstock and that's going to fill in his eyes and face. I have decided to color all of the images, all of these die cut images. I'm using Copic markers. Instead of die cutting it from colored cardstock, there was a lot of pieces and I actually felt like it would... Um, be really just kind of different. It gives you like a no line coloring look when you color your die cuts with a color medium like colored pencils or alcohol ink. So that's what I'm going to do. You can see all of the Copic markers that I'm using here. Here's his cute little carrot nose. I colored his little arms. There's some birds. They're cardinals. I have die cut quite a few. I always tend to die cut extra and I'm going to color them obviously with some red. There is a little wing and his body. I'm just gonna color some of these and the rest of these images I will color off camera just because it's duplicates and you don't need to see me color it multiple times. So that's his cute little wing, a little bit of orange for his beak. And this comes in that build a snowman die. Here's his darling little hat. I will be using some C markers for this because I like to use C8, 6, and 4 to give it a, uh, it gives it a black look, but you have some darker areas and some highlight areas, so you have shadows and highlights. And I'm just going to trace around and give that a nice good color. I do tend to go over the image twice. I feel like I get a really nice blend when I do it that way. He has his little band. First, uh, actually I have to go back and I decided to go with B0000 to go around the snowman to give him a little bit of blue color so it feels like he's got snow. Then I'm going to add some stripes to his cute little scarf, which I was inspired by one of Lon Fawn's uh, design team members, Grace. I saw her little snowman and it had stripes on it, so I thought I would do the same because it was so darling. I'm using blues and greens. For this, again, that's my color scheme, kind of muted blues and greens, and then we're going to do that pop of red. So super easy to do the stripes here, and then I'm going to define the stripes a little bit later with a white gel pen. Need to color those little frills at the bottom of the scarf, of course. Then I had colored his hat, or the brim, no, excuse me, the little band of his hat a different color blue, but I decided to go with this darker color blue. So again, a dark color, a medium color, and a light color. And as you can see, really the coloring does go fairly quick. There is a lot of images, but it does go quick. Here's some cute little holly leaves and berries. The greens that I am using um, are BG, I think they're BG 90, 93, and 96. The blues are B99, 95, and 91. The reds are R39, 37, and 35. So here's those pretty blues. 
for his glove. So you have his gloves here and then you have the little part that's on his wrist. I'm going to do that in green. I just thought it would be so, so cute that he would be wearing gloves. getting that a nice good blend. And then here is the wrist part, again, doing a greens. This is the BG 90, 93, and 96. And then I decided to bring in some Christmas lights. I love Christmas lights. This is the mini string of lights die. I have die cut again from white cardstock. I'm going to color these with the Copic markers that I already have on my workstation. I don't want to bring in any more colors. There is an orange color, which is YR01 and 02, which was for his nose. I will use that for one of the lights. But I'm using the green, blue, red, and orange. And there is multiple of these lights. Then I'm going to show how we put all of this together. So here's the string of lights. I die cut the string itself from black licorice cardstock. Then there is a die that has a white solid background. And then the front ones that we colored has a little open highlight area. So I'm going to adhere that down. And then you can see we have our fun string of lights. Then we have our little cardinals that we're going to adhere the wings to. Some of the wings I decided to lift up just a little bit because I am going to use multiple birds. I believe I only ended up using three birds instead of the five that I've die cut, but I can always just put the extra pieces that I've colored in with the die itself and use it on a future project. Here are the little holly berries I can adhere down onto the leaves. And then the gloves adhere those little bottom pieces and put his scarf together. And then I waited to put the snowman together because I needed to lay out my background to see where his hat and his arms, like where his arms needed to be. But I can put on his nose and his scarf. Look at how cute he is coming together. And I did give him rosy cheeks with the R30 um, Copic marker. Then there was a little heart from that dye that I colored red and I put that onto his little scarf. Okay, I want this card to have a lot of dimension. Now, I did not make a shaker card out of this, but you totally could. I'm going to add some foam adhesive strips to the Spooky Forest die here. I'm actually going to add two layers because I want this to have the most dimension because I want to build more dimension behind it. So this is going to be what's up front, and then we can add other layers behind it. So as you can see, we have our layer of snow. I'm going to trim this down and it can fit inside of the frame. I will add one layer of foam tape inside for the stitched hillside border die to lay. So this will also have dimension. This will not be flat against that background. I did realize I needed a little bit more foam tape, two more pieces at the top of that little snow drift. So I'm just gonna use my scissors and put those in place. Now we can finish putting my snowman together. I did kind of lay it out off camera. Here's his little cute little arms, little stick arms. We're going to put his mittens on there. And then we can tuck him into his body. Now the arm on the left, I want him to be holding a bird. So I'm going to have that one out a little more straight and the other one will be up just a little bit. Then I'm going to add one layer of foam tape behind him. So he will be, his layering will be just as deep as the hillside, but I'm going to tuck him behind the hillside. So it looks like he's, the bottom of him is kind of buried in the snow. Let's put our front and back piece on together and then we can start putting the rest of our elements together for this super cute card. I love this color combination. It's very muted, but it feels, I don't know, it feels a little old fashioned to me. Okay, look at all that dimension. Now let's tuck him in. He's gonna be right in the center there. I'm gonna put, it, put him down. I did move that tree limb in front of him. I added some foam tape, one layer up behind the Christmas lights, and I'm gonna tuck this right under and trim this apart. So this looks like it's kind of hanging in the trees. I can just slide that under. 
before I press anything down, I can easily move it around. And then once I get it where I want to, I can push those little lights down. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And I do have a little tiny piece left over after this that I am going to still put on the right side because I do plan on putting a bird on the left side in the trees. So he's going to hold this cute bird and the bird is tucked behind the tree a little bit, which also gives it some, some more dimension. Some of these I put in some places and then I moved them like the bird at the bottom. I don't keep him there. I did add a little bit of holly to his hat. I'm going to add some more of these little holly berries and leaves down towards the bottom here. I will move that bird at the bottom and add another little holly leaf down there. But look at how this is coming together. It's so darling. Let's add one more bird right here. So we're gonna have three birds at the top. We're gonna have some more holly down here at the bottom. I'm gonna remove that piece of holly right at the top in the middle. Just didn't love that layout. And then I'm gonna put that right here. Then we have our sentiment, which I should have thought about before, but it stamped just fine. This is from the Little Snow Globe Dog stamp set. It says Happy Holidays, and I am inking that up with the Speckled Egg Distress Oxide ink. And then now we're going to add some really important finishing details with the white gel pen. I'm going to add it between all the stripes on the sweater. I'm going to add little highlight areas on the berries and leaves, on the birds on his hat, on his mittens, on the lights, of course, his carrot nose, and here's those little stripes in between each color on his scarf. And this will be added to a white A2 size card base. And then I'm gonna add some black glaze pin to the eyes of the birds and just to brighten up his mouth and his eyes on the snowman, just to make it a little bit shinier. Now let's take a look at this. Look at how darling this is. I love this build a snowman die and to turn that spooky forest die into a Christmas card works perfectly. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you enjoyed this project and I hope you guys have a really wonderful day. Bye. 